This video, we're going to solve problems in, uh, for angles of 90, 180, 270, and 360 degrees. So what is the measurement of this angle? All right, so for this one, we are looking at a circle. And I know that a circle is 360 degrees because a straight line, which is half of a circle, is 180. So a full circle is 360. What is the measurement of this angle? All right, so this one is a straight line. My straight lines are always going to be 180 degrees. Again, this is a straight line, so you know that it could cut a circle in half and it would be 180 degrees. What is the measurement of this angle? Okay, so this one is tricky because it's trying to trick us. So if we're looking at this shape right here, we know that this angle is 90 degrees because that is a right angle, okay? And if we know that the full line is 180 degrees, we would add 180 plus 90, which would be 270 degrees. The other thing, the, the other way that we could do it is knowing that a circle is 360 and you could subtract 90, it would get the same answer. But our answer to this one, it's not asking about the 90 degree angle, it's asking us about the angle outside of that which is 270 degrees. What fraction of a turn is this angle? What fraction of a turn is this angle? Okay, so this is just worded in a tricky way, but it's not as tricky as it sounds. So when you're measuring an angle, the angle measure is based on a circle. So a full turn, would be 360 degrees because that would be the entire circle, okay? So a half turn would be 180 degrees. So if this angle is meant to be 360 degrees because it's the entire circle, then it would be one full turn. What fraction of a turn is this angle? All right, so we know that this angle is 90 degrees. All right, so if our full turn we know is 360 degrees, that would be our full turn. So we're at 90, 360th which would equal, if we simplify, one fourth. So 90 degrees is one fourth of a full turn. What fraction of a turn is this angle? All right, so this is not our 90 degree angle. This is our 270 degree angle. Okay, so 270. And our full turn would be 360. So it's 270 three sixtieths, which is going to be three quarters of the turn, three fourths of the way. Because 360 is the full turn, we're not, we're not 90. 90 would be one fourth, 180 would be one half, 270 would be three-fourths. What fraction of a turn is this angle? Okay, so first we have to figure out what the measurement of the angle is. So this is a straight line, so that means it is 180 degrees. And 180 three-sixtieths. Again, we know that 90 is one-fourth. 180 is one half. 
So 180 degrees is a half turn. What fraction of a turn is this angle? So again, we are looking at our 270, not our 90. So for that one, we're going to do 3 fourths. What fraction of a turn is this angle, which is the same as the last problem? So we're going to hit 3 fourths again. All right, let's try a trickier one. What is the measurement of this angle? All right, so again, when we're looking at this, since this angle is a little bit more difficult without measuring it, I'm going to go to the angle that I know, which is this one. That's a right angle, so that's 90 degrees. If I know that my full angle is out of 360 degrees, then I'll go ahead and subtract 90 and I will get 270 degrees. What is the measurement of this angle? Well, I know off the top of my head that when I'm looking at a right angle, my measurement is 90 degrees. And again, this one, it's a right angle, but we're not asking about the, the right angle. We know our right angle is 90 and our full measurement is 360. So this guy is going to be 270 degrees. What is the measurement of this angle? So now we're looking at our full circle and a full circle is 360 degrees.